Man, that's a cool looking hot tub. Yeah, we should check on the baby. He's so sweet. Maybe too sweet? The internet's down. Your home is only as smart as your internet. Get reliable AT&T fiber and get speeds up to 300 megabits per second and direct TV. Bundle for $75 a month for 12 months. Limited availability may not be in your area. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1-800-CALL-ATT. Get synced in with NBC Bay Area on Instagram. I'll see you there. Right now at 8 o'clock, the Memorial Day weekend is wrapping up, and so is the crazy weather, though it looks gorgeous right now. What comes this week? Also, I remember, like, thinking to myself, that's a really big cat. Um, and then as I got closer, I was like, that is, <laughs> that is not a cat. Not a cat. A mountain lion sighting on the peninsula startles a neighborhood. We'll show you where this big cat was roaming. But first, a holiday weekend spent at the negotiating table. Teachers on strike in Union City and Hayward. They're still looking for a deal. Will they be going to school tomorrow? The news starts right now. Good evening and thanks for being with us for this special edition of NBC Bay Area News. We are on in prime time because of the Stanley Cup finally might have seen it right now on NBC. I'm Raj Mathai. And I'm Jessica Aguirre. No deal. But tonight there is new hope that teachers in Union City and South Hayward will be back in the classroom tomorrow just in time for the last week of school. NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favreau joins us in Hayward where teachers in the district still talking at this hour. Marianne. <laughs> Well, just the teachers just came out and gave us a briefing about the negotiations. They tell us they have now been willing to decrease their demands from the original 10% raise that they were asking for to accepting a 3.7% cost of living adjustment. Now, it's not a done deal yet. They're going back into the negotiating room. But in the meantime, all of these teachers have been out here all day and they have been picketing. What they have been told, though, is that for now, they should plan not to be in the classrooms tomorrow.